at the Wharton Center this week and next month, the Jersey Boys. What a show. Mm -hmm. And we've got two of them right here, folks. Preston Truman Boyd, Joseph Leo Boeri. Thank you. We both have three names. Being here. <laughs> I know, <laughs> so right? Special. I mean, that we, that we say out loud. Professionally. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And we have Frankie Valley, known on the show, and Bob Gaudio, known on the show. Guys, tell us how excited you are to be here performing at the Warren Center. It's great. This is just a, you know, the show is a thrill to perform. And uh, no matter what city we're in, and we get to take it all in. On the but road. we like Michigan the best. Yes. Yes. And what's it like playing? Joseph, such an icon. You're right. It's a, he's an icon, and they are in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and they have played around the world, and they uh, have number one hit records and changed the face of pop music, and they did all of that stuff. And you know, it's Frankie Valli and the Four Seasons, but you know, the guys are, there's four of them, and without one of them, you don't really get the sound. So, yeah, Frankie is the most maybe visually recognizable, and the name you know. But it took Bob to write the songs, and it took uh, Tommy and Nick to put harmonies together and be the, the guys who played guitar and bass to really pull it all off and be the, yeah. the, the band. It's a, it's a band, really, but it's a lot of pressure. Yeah. I was going to say, Still. is that a little pressure night after night to yeah, bring because when Yeah, because when you come, and you will be coming to the show, mm -hmm. um, and when all of, of Lansing, East Lansing, Detroit, Michigan, everyone, when you all come to the show, yes. where am I looking? <laughs> oh, you're, <laughs> you're coming to the show. Exactly. Um, you know what you're going to hear. You've danced to them at weddings, you've heard them at prom, you, they're yeah. in the elevator, they're at the Rite Aid, whatever. Yeah. So we have to live up to the expectation. People come with an expectation right. and, and I think we even maybe <clears throat> exceed it. And a lot of people say, you guys, th it sounds like more like big and and we're like, yeah, well, it's, it's a little bit bigger than the records yeah. were. It's, it's a Broadway version of the record, so it's really huge, the sound. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. Their music is so timeless, and that's why, you know, it does so well today, because people still love it and, you know, can relate to the music. Well, could you comment on the fact that everybody knows the music, of course, but mm -hmm. there's a, a great story that you guys tell weaving together these songs with mm -hmm. a bit of the history. Mm -hmm. yeah. Walk us through that a little bit. I mean, it's really the trials and tribulations they went through. They, they um, you know, would kill time in Jersey, you know, either robbing jewelry marts or singing under a street lamp, and that's, they happen to do both. And this is what actually got them out of the neighborhood and, and uh, into stardom and, and uh, propelled their lives. Who loves you freely, baby? Who's gonna help you? Guys, thank you so much for being here. Of course. This, uh, this is really awesome. And you're performing through the 16th? Yep. All right. October. Three, the three solid weeks. Yep. There's Starting no tonight. excuse. There's no. no excuse not to get out to the Warren Center. Oh, wow.